In this video, we're going to introduce you to OnePress Social Locker, which is a plugin for WordPress that allows you to put some of your content behind social media buttons so that for users to access that content, they need to click like, tweet, or plus one. I've installed the plugin and we're just gonna give you a quick rundown of how you can actually use it. So over on the left-hand side, you can see I've got the menu item Social Lockers. So you can click on that and you can see that the default locker is included and they give you the short code over here uh, that you need to use uh, when you actually want to hide some content. So what we can do is just copy this and then jump into posts. And then we just choose one that we've got. Uh, we're just going to use hello world in this post. And what we'll do is paste in the short code that we copied just before and wrap it around some content and then hit update. Now we go to view the post. And there you go. So as you can see, it's created that little area nicely. It says the content is locked. Please support us and use one of the buttons below to unlock the content. So you can tweet, hit like, or use plus one. And there's a neat little animation uh, when you hover over it. It's really, really, really easy to change though, which is uh, a very good thing, I think. So you can jump back into the dashboard and then go back to social lockers on the left-hand side and you can click edit or you can even add a new social locker with the add social locker button if you'd like. You can put in a URL to share and if you don't put one in, it'll actually just pull the URL of the page that it's generated on. And here is probably the more important part of it, the locker header and the locker message. Basically, you need to make sure that you're giving people a reason to click uh, these social media buttons and to promote your website because ultimately it's your responsibility to make sure that your content's really friendly and accessible and people like it. So, you know, make sure you give that a bit of thought here uh, when you're doing it. You know, like a, a few instances of cases you might do this is when you've got an ebook to share or specific content that you really only want the people that really want to read it to have access to. So you can make those changes there and there's just a preview down the bottom as you can see. And when you're done making any changes, hit update and they'll be reflected uh, wherever you've used this particular locker. So that's all there is to know about the plugin uh, in terms of getting it established. There are some more settings, uh, they're not too deep, and also usage statistics, so you can actually go through here and track how useful the plugin is. Uh, is it working and are people using it? Uh, and of course, if people are not using it and they don't like it, it's very likely that they will be telling you, uh, but you should always keep an eye on uh, Google Analytics or any other website analytic tracking service just to make sure everything is still running well. So we're gonna wrap that up now. If you have any questions about this particular plugin and how to use it, please feel free to ask in the comments below.